to good good morning thanks for joining us on hangout with laserman today the question which we have been asked from ohio is what is epithelium of uh, corneal collagen cross linking and what are the advantages of this procedure compared to c3r or epi on cxl or corneal collagen cross linking so first remember that epithelium is the top layer in most of the body structures including the skin the cornea and it gives us protection and also our, our prevents fluid or other things from entering in the internal structures so what that means is the epithelium in the eye prevents bugs from entering prevents other molecules and tear film from entering and so when we remove this barrier it allows us to penetrate the cornea better now if you remember keratoconus is like weak cornea where loose hair is there and we want to braid the hair and make it stronger so we want to make the collagen fibrils stick to each other and make them stronger so for this we need the riboflavin to penetrate deep and uniformly and this is only achievable currently when we remove the epithelium because histopathological studies have shown when epithelium is removed and riboflavin is activated with UV radiation we get a good demarcation line at a uniform depth throughout the cornea and we can control how much area we want to treat so I'll go over the steps so it becomes much clearer so imagine you're going to have corneal cross-linking with epi off technique so after you come and you have signed the consents and if you give you'll be given an anxiolytic to relax you and then we take you into the laser room previously we used to use chemicals to remove the epithelium and that just removes the epithelium now we've switched to PTK method which is phototherapeutic keratoplasty but basically laser is used to remove the top 50 microns because we know the epithelium is thinner over the cone so what this does is it removes a very uh, little bit of the abnormal cornea which is very steep and thus flattens it and so we set it for 6 millimeter and then 1.5 millimeter transition zone and once this is done we can remove scrape off the remaining epithelium to get like around a 9 uh, millimeter zone where we're going to put the uh, riboflavin and over the next 20 minutes we keep putting riboflavin so it soaks in oh, give me one second we get the noise out so the riboflavin is uh, soaked into the cornea during this time you're lying and we play music in the bad background for your choice and not the kind of music you just heard um, and so it's a not a very painful experience it's pretty relaxing and somebody's putting drops in your eye and you don't have to worry about blinking because even if you blink we can then put another drop uh, and this is the easy part you're just lying listening to music riboflavin going in your eye around 20 minutes later we take you to the slit lamp confirm that the riboflavin has reached the anterior chamber that's very important because riboflavin plays two roles it releases free radicals which lead to the cross linkage formation but it also prevents the UV radiation from going too deep into the cornea and damaging the endothelial cells or inner structures like the lens and that's why we need to have at least 400 microns of uh, cornea and if somebody's cornea is thinner we can swell it up with a hypotonic riboflavin now let's say the penetration hasn't occurred then we can add more riboflavin till we confirm the riboflavin is causing flare in the anterior chamber once that is documented we take you back and this time into the UV radiation room uh, where you're again back to line listening to music but this time a machine is put on with a nice green light and you have to look at the center and uh, it's at a fixed distance from your eye and we make sure it's covering the area to be treated uniformly so during this time you're not allowed to tilt your head and keep it straight and we are monitoring it 
So this part lasts around 10 minutes. And then after that, we can put an antibiotic drop, steroid drops, and a bandage contact lens for comfort. And then you're out of the procedure and it's all done. Not, not very painful in the right hands, especially if you have a comforting, caring surgeon and good staff. Now in the future, uh, epi off has going to have some variations and researchers are working on them. They can be, um, they will be uh, what similar to wavefront guided LASIK eye tracker. So the um, delivery system can move if your eye moves. And also like the wavefront, it can treat different areas differently. So let's say right now we can only treat if it's say uh, above 400 microns. But maybe if one area is lesser than 400 and other areas more, we could do differential treatments. Um, and also we could do differential based on the shape. But that all is in research phase right now and hopefully in the next few years it'll come. But if you're between 12 and 40 and you're suffering from keratoconus, the recommendation is to get corneal cross linkage as soon as possible because this is the only uh, method which cures uh, keratoconus and prevents it from progressing. Thank you for sending in your uh, questions and if you have any follow-up don't hesitate to call us, email us, Facebook, Twitter, Gmail. You, uh, we are here for you and hoping to eradicate keratoconus pretty soon. Thank you.